drilling the holes. From the centre line of the position of the transducer, according to its position between the sleepers, mark the transducer centre on the rail. From this centre line, mark both the module centres accordingly. Align the centre of the drilling jig to the centre mark of the first module and clamp into place. In this example, the Chambre LD 1PN drill has been used and adapted to fit the specialist drilling jig. The drill should be fitted with an adapter plate, nozzle, drill collet and specially designed combined drill and spot face tool. The collet is tightened as shown with the two grub screws. If required, manually rotate the chuck from the rear of the drill to provide access to the grub screws on the collet. Remove the two cam lock pins that are used to hold the drill in place. Locating holes are also used to position the drill for each of the four drilling positions. The drill can now be fitted to the jig as shown by locating the dowels in the first drilling position. Fit the cam lock pins and ensure that they are tightened. Connect the coolant hose to the back of the drill and pressurize the coolant container. Start up the drill and use the throttle to set the optimum speed for drilling. Turn on the coolant tap. Slowly drill the first hole by gently pulling the lever down. After the hole is drilled through, continue drilling carefully to produce the spot face around the hole. Remove the drill and move to the next position, ensuring you have secured the cam lock pins. After drilling all four holes and spot facing, after removing the drilling jig, the holes should look like this. Using the spot face level gauge, check that the depths of the four spot face areas are the same. Any rocking of the plate will indicate that one or more of the holes are not spot faced to the same depth as the others. If this occurs, further spot facing will be required. Refit the drilling jig to the opposite side of the rail aligning the center lines as previously. Check that the drill enters the hole. If not, realign the drilling jig. Spot face the four holes from this side of the rail by repositioning the drill to each of the four drilling positions. Repeat the spot face check. The drilling of the holes for the second module can now be carried out by positioning the drilling jig to the second module center mark. Drill and spot face as previously. The drilling jig should then be positioned as shown to produce two holes for the cover fixing. These holes also need to be spot faced. The spot face check is not required. 